We're going to start off by giving infinite honors, praises, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Harukakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful and faithful elect across the four corners, living and preaching this truth to the best of their ability in sincerity and charity. I like to say Shalom, Shalom to you Akim and to you few Akwa. I'm not going to tarry here. I'm going to go ahead and get right into the lesson. And today's lesson speaks on spiritual restoration. Spiritual restoration. The key scripture we're going to look into have other scriptures as well but this is I like to say that the topic which is going to help us to go into the other scriptures is in Psalms found in Psalms 23rd chapter and it's the the third third verse he restores he restores my soul he leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake this is Psalms 23rd chapter 3rd verse. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And the, tab, and the title of the lesson is Spiritual Restoration. Spiritual Restoration. And so when it starts to boil down and you go ahead and get to the nitty gritty, which is get into the, the thick of things, the definition of that word restoration is to return Salakia, the return of a hereditary monarch to a throne, a head of state to government. Also, the action of returning something to a former owner, place, or condition. That owner as we know who we will be returned to is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. The place in which we hopefully are, are want to be returned to is the heavens with our Heavenly Father, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And the condition in which we want to be restored unto is a perfect condition because in Matthew's 5 5th chapter 48 verse it says well matter of fact let's go ahead and get it this uh, this is Matthew's 5th chapter 48 verse be ye therefore perfect even as your father which is in heaven is perfect so that's the condition that we hope to attain a perfect condition also says the same thing here in second samuel's 22nd verse salakia 22nd chapter 31st verse as for yahweh by hashem yahweh shai his way is perfect the word of yahweh is tried he is a buckler to all them that trust in him. So again, this is the condition that we seek to attain through what we're speaking on, uh, through what I'm speaking to you, Akiam, and you few Akwa about right now, which is spiritual restoration. When you restore something as well, it goes into making something come back to life again such as you will use worldly terms such as uh, an old house such as uh, uh, old vehicles you know guys will take old vehicles old Mustangs and restore them and make them look brand new same thing with a house a house could be in real bad shape you know weeds growing up all around the house uh this house falling apart such as would be in a dilapidated state which is it seemed like it wouldn't even be fit to restore but once you go ahead and put 
spit and grit and hard work into it, then the fruits of your labor will pay off. And through your fruits of your labor, that house will be restored. It's the same thing that we hope to happen when we come into the fold, when we leave out of the world from walking around blind and have our eyes open by Yahweh Shai Hamashiach's grace and mercy upon us through his, through his father Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And so that brings me to Matthew's 11th chapter and 30th verse. This is Matthew 11 and 30. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And that word easy goes into something that's able to be achieved without great effort, something that is manageable. And this is Yahweh Shai's yoke, what Yahweh Shai is asking you to take on, which is this truth. And the truth is found in the word. As we know, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach himself is found in the word. He comes in the volume of the book. It says, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. That word light refers to weight. Something like if you're a weightlifter, you know, when you start off, of course, you're going to have your struggles. You're going to have your ups and downs. That's just how it is. That's just the way the world works. But once you continue at it and stay steadfast and continue to endure, then that same weight that you was lifting a month ago, it's going to be nothing to you. People are going to look around and the weight's going to be rattling off the bars. You're just going to be almost as if you was bench pressing and you was throwing the weight up in the air and catching it. That's how it is with Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. His yoke is easy and his burden is light. Meaning, it's not only weightless, but it's quick and it's agile. Similar to how Muhammad Ali used to move around the boxing ring. He used to float like a butterfly. You know, it was effortless. And this is the same thing that we hope to attain when it comes to spiritual restoration. Effortless movements. Being caught up in the spirit. Letting Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai have his way and his work be done and be perfected within us. So that he will have all the glory and all the honor and all the praise. And in, in return, we would be edifying and uplifting the other Akim, as well as the few Akwaf, which would be pleasing to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. I'm not going to go too far. I'm going to go right over here to Matthew's 12th chapter and the 13th verse. It says, Then saith he to the man, Who is he? He is Yahweh Why? Salaki, he is Yahweh Shahamashiach. Then saith he to the man, Stretch forth thine hand. And he stretched it forth, and it was restored whole, like as the other. The man looked upon his other hand and saw that both were whole, like it says, like as the other. And even though this scripture likens this man's arm to his other arm, it's more so likening your spirit to be restored whole. Meaning you've come out of that darkness with which you wandered upon this earth for so long in. This cloudiness, this haze, this fog, like a punch drunk boxer who's stumbling around the, stumbling around the ring, slobbering because you got caught with one too many good punches. You know, you what they were referred to as being punch drunk. But by you letting Yahweh, Yahweh Shai Hamashach have his way, he has done away with that cloudiness. He has lifted that fog 
and now you have been, as it says in the latter part of the verse, restored whole. And this is what we are seeking to attain, Akim and Yufu Akwa. I'm gonna go from here from Matthews to Revelations. This is Revelation 7 chapter 17 verse. For the Lamb, and the Lamb we know is Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, which is in the midst of the throne, shall feed them and shall lead them unto living fountains of waters. And God, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. That's right. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai shall wipe away all tears from our eyes. And Yahweh Shai Hamashiach will feed us and he shall lead us unto living fountains of water and the way in which he's going to do that is by us believing because as we read in a previous previous uh, scripture he, excuse me Salaki, he said take my yoke it is easy are we going to take his yoke as easy and light? And the way you do in that is by believing that he exists and believing that he is and that he will do exactly what he says he will do. We're going to go here to Psalms. Psalms 51, 51st chapter 12 verse. Psalms 51 and 12 says, Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. And once again, that word restore comes again. And as we know, it says, The action of returning something to a former owner, place, or condition. And that condition which we, are seek, which we seek to attain is perfection. Because as we read in Matthew's 5th chapter 48 verse, it says, Be ye perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect. And so, you go into that word, restore, and what Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, and his darling son, his only begotten Yahweh Shai, my Shai, will be storing is your soul. This is just a few things. Restoring the joy of thy salvation. Who is thy? Yahweh Shai Hamashiach and his, and his father, Yahweh. The salvation which came through Yahweh Shai Hamashiach from his father because he listened unto what his father had to say and he put his life on the line by dying on the cross so that we will have life and have it life more abundantly. And so those were just a few of uh, the ways in which spiritual restoration will be, will be taking place and is taking place when you come into the fold. Because your path of life with which you were walking at one time was unproductive at best, was subpar at best, was meaningless at best. Everything that you were doing was coming to naught. At best, you may have thought you were on the winning side. You may have thought that you were living your best life. You may have thought that all everything was peachy keen, but it wasn't. You were being sifted like wheat. The enemy was walking around seeking whom he may devour. And he was eyeing you. He wanted to devour you. Akim and you few Akwa. This is uh this is wisdom of Solomon, 16th chapter 12 verse. For it is neither herb nor mollifying plaster that restored them to health, but thy word. O Lord, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, 
which healeth all things, for it was neither herb nor mollifying plaster that restored them to health, but thy word, O Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, which healeth all things. And the latter part of the verse is what we'll focus on. But thy word, thy word, O Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, which healeth all things. All things are being healed. Not some things, not just a few, not, not one or two, not three or four, not a couple. All things. That's mentally, that's physically, that's emotionally, that's in whatever way in which you would imagine to, that you or any place in your life that you needed healing. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Through his word, heal. And not just some things. I'll just reiterate that. Not just some things, all things. Now we're going to go here to John 10th chapter and 10th verse. And it says, The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy i am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly and once again this is yahweh shai yahweh shai hamashiach speaking the thief coming not but for the steal and to kill and to destroy i come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly And you go into that word abundantly. The abundantly is basically saying that it is in excess. So you want to be close to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and his only begotten son Yahweh Shai so that you can receive this spiritual restoration. I have another scripture to back up to John 10 and 10. Come with me to Malachi third chapter and we're going to go through the 10th and the 11th verse real quick bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be meat in mine house and prove me now herewith saith Yahweh that's Lord in all caps Yahweh of Salakias it is Yahweh Lord in all caps but this is the way in which you say it saith the Lord of hosts Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive it and that that room enough to receive it goes back to John 10 and 10 in the latter part of that verse with the word abundance pour you out a blessing this is the latter part of Malachi 3 and 10 pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive it that is in excess that is an abundance this is the blessing spiritual restorative blessing in which Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai wants you to receive Akim and Yufu Akwa by taking on his yoke which is light which is easy and which is light by believing the 11th verse of Malachi 3rd chapter says and I will rebuke the devourer the devourer is Satan that's the one that comes to sift you like wheat who walks around as a lion seeking whom he may devour and I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes and he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground neither shall your vine cast her fruit before the time in the field saith the Lord of hosts Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and so this is what's taking place Akim and Yufu Akwa when it comes to spiritual restoration so I hope that you were edified. I hope this lesson was, was edifying to you few to to you Akim and you few Aqua. And until the next lesson I say, Shalom. A ball ba ball, a quam yashwala. Keep pushing. Keep pushing.